Hello, this video will show how I enter programs into the Duo 128 Elite using the handy dandy front panel. So right now I'm in the process of entering this multiplication program uh, and as you can see I have a page of lots of ones and zeros that are assembled from a program made on my netbook over here. And um, what I need to do right now is enter all the ones and zeros into the machine so that it can run the program. I've done this twice before with other programs such as Pong and uh, s the letter slideshow already, which I'll be showing in future videos. Uh, but just to show you, those of you who are curious about the process, I'm going to show how I enter the commands uh, one by one into the machine. So I start by turning on the machine, and as you can see it displays a bunch of gibberish, so we're going to turn off the clock, and <clears throat> we're going to select a manual address to edit. Um, and then we'll select um, the current address that we want to write to. I've actually done the first five commands already, so I'm at the next address, which is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. And the data that needs to go there is a 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. So right now, stored in that location is a bunch of 1s. Um, to write data, I have to set the output enable to off and I toggled these data switches down here in order to decide what data to write and then when I've decided I press the button over here and when we inspect the location again by turning the output enable switch back on and these switches off um, it has the data in the correct address now if I want to go to the next address I switch the next switch Turn the up and enable uh, off. I keep this off typically when I'm programming because I don't need to inspect the memory locations. Uh, this also needs a 11100, so toggle it in. We'll press the button, go to the next address. The next data is a 0111. So we press the button, and the data has been written. And then next is 01100, and uh, that's the next address, and the data is written. So now if you want to check and see if that's correct, we can go back into output enable mode by flipping this up. We can go back to the first address that we were editing, and we have a 11100, that's correct. That's the next data, and yep, that's the final data. So that shows how to enter one command into the machine. And now that I've finished the command, I simply cross it off the list by putting a line next to it, and I go on to the next command. It can take me a pretty long time to enter uh, the whole list. It's about one and a half pages of commands, but I'd say in the end it's worth it. Uh, please watch again soon for uh, videos of the programs that we'll be running, and thanks for watching.